Hello, my name is Walter, and I decided to bring back a vlog. I don't know, it's, uh, you know, it's been a... It, some time since uh, my last vlog, and, uh, you know, I really like the, the style that I did it with, you know, uh, talk with myself, and uh, mixing it with the five years ago. But uh, with this one, I am talking about my um, country's independence day. Uh, and today is the day, it's uh, 31st August here in Malaysia and um, yeah, it is uh, Merdeka, so uh, yeah. Uh, Merdeka means, essentially means independence. Um, our founding father, uh, Tunku Abdul Rahman, you know, he, uh, he fought for our independence in the way, you know, not really like Americans where you know they had the whole revolution war and they won and you know they got down and wrote the constitution together and got freedom from the British but in this case you know our founding father didn't want any bloodshed so he decided to make connections and you know went to talk with all the um, British people are the British high power at the time and you know uh, essentially negotiated for the release of uh, Malaysia from uh, the British Empire which was already being uh, disbanded at the time uh, because of you know evolution and uh, uh, you know progress throughout the time and I think uh, the British also kind of got what they wanted you know they already took our resources they already got what they wanted so they they decided to kind of let us find a way to stabilize and write a constitution so that we are ready to essentially govern on our own kind of like um, America because you know they were supposed to write a constitution uh, to make sure that they are uh, far and above to govern themselves uh, so that is what happened as well in Malaysia but our history is more kind of like twisted in the fact that you know we had a lot of communists coming in and uh, you know when there is sort of like this vacuum of power there's also this like in instability like di it's destabilized and you know every everyone's fighting and you know there's uh, essentially a need to kind of assert back into power and you know that caused a delay in our independence you know we were supposed to get it earlier but uh, because of all the communists coming in and you know the um, uh, gorillas and not really gorillas but the gorillas in that you know the um, the people fighting and uh, you know most likely what I can translate into modern language is terrorists essentially because they 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 uh, vandalized they you know they made a lot of mess and uh, you know we still needed uh, the British help uh, that's why if you come to Malaysia there is a place called uh, Templars Park and that is uh, to pay homage to uh, uh, I think his, his full name is John Templar but I'm not sure uh, I, I know his name is just Templar uh, and that's why we, we always call him Mr. Templar um, Mr. Templar helped us uh, gain back uh, our power and you know essentially pushed off pushed off all the communists and all the other people that you know decided to mess the whole system up and it was delayed to uh, 1957 where uh, the British were finally seeing that we could live al along with, e with each other in harmony so uh, yeah that's the um, that's the skinny of it that's the long story short of it and uh, yeah so uh, this is a very special independence day because it is uh, 60 years on so um, 
Well, I think I just wanted to do this because, um, you know, it's been, it has been 60 years and I was just talking to my friends about this yesterday, you know, we, we are a nation where we are still finding our way, you know, whether it be kind of going backwards or not, you know, that's not really my place to say, but I, I, in my personal opinion, it is more backwards than forwards. You know, there is a lot of talks uh, that, you know, uh, our government is not the cleanest government and I, you know, it is true, you know, um, our prime minister is still being, um, you know, investigated by the IMDB reports and everything and that happened. Um, you know, the MH370 mystery is still ongoing, you know, we never, we never got to find uh, MH370. MH17 was obviously, um, kind of, uh, deducted that, you know, it was because of Ukraine and, uh, you know, the, the plane crashed there. Um, and there is a lot of things that happened in the recent times that might make us lose face or you know a lot of reputation and I think that is one of the worst things to happen to a country when you know there's a lot of bad things that happen and you know we are an Islamic country, no matter, you know, whether people want to agree with that or not, it's, you know, it is, it is very much an Islamic country because our official religion and our constitution is Islam and therefore it is an Islamic country. Even though it is like, yes, there is a freedom of other religions, but the ones who are in power are Muslim and is, uh, you know, practice Islam. It, it falls under the category, you know, we can't escape that and uh, a lot of that also, uh, you know, uh, pushes us to do st stupider things, you know, our ministers and all that, um, it's, it's just one of those things, I guess. And uh, I probably didn't get a lot of heat for this, but um, it's, it's not anything bad, you know. Islam is a very beautiful religion, you know. I I learned about it in my foundation. Uh, it is very beautiful. I, you know, when I went to the Islamic Museum of Arts, per se, I saw the, the art, artistry and, you know, the, you know, their calligraphy is kind of like Chinese calligraphy, but, you know, it's very, very beautiful to see. And I don't disagree that Islam played a very big part in history but due to you know due to extremism it's always about extremism you know if we look back at history you know we can always see uh, there is also christianity extremism you know during the dark ages you know where um, a lot of people weren't allowed to do things because the church was in power and they were like no this is wrong and this cannot be done and you know this this and that and this and that and, you know science is not good and you know witchcraft and you know uh, you know we had the witch hunts and you know Galileo died because you know he disagreed with the church and said no the sun is the the center of the universe not earth and, you know all of the, all of these things that happen in history and I guess what I'm trying to say is that instead of learning from that part of history where, you know, the Islam Empire, essentially, you know, the Ottoman Empire did kind of spur on uh, the future because of the Renaissance, you know, Islam did play a part in that. Uh, the Muslims helped the Christians to give them their research, you know, uh, whether it be medicine for the Black Plague, uh, you know, uh, how to keep clean, all of that, you know, uh, machinery, their their technology, their, their know-hows, and, you know, that's all progress from there. Um, but it's always 
that extremism that comes into play you know it's always politics and politics is very dirty yes but um it, i think it's one of those things too that i think if we just stop and look at all of these things that have happened and could have happened in another way i think we should have seen it go the other way instead because progress is always important and progress is one of the things that is so much rewards has so much rewards you know and i'm not saying that we haven't progressed you know we have um good train systems with good um you know amenities you know our our stadium is still known today Bukit Jalil is still known today uh, and we are hosting the SEA Games this year so and uh, I'm very proud of our achievements I'm not taking that any other way I'm, I'm not taking that away from our athletes you know Jayo uh, good job it's it's just that it's so sad and so wasted that all these potentials in the nation is wasted because like our our athletes are really good and it's just that we can't qualify the for the world club and you know it's one of those things that you know it is very much the the importance that we get ourselves back to where we were because we we have been in the world club before whether or not people remember that's a different story um i think for me it's it's more it's it's more of the line between the government and the nation and i think it's very important that we we have drawn that line i think as as a as a kid i, I used to I used to uh, I used to confuse my government and my nation. I really used to hate my nation because of the government. And when I grew up, I saw that it was not it was not my it was not my na nation's fault. You know, our our country is very beautiful. Um, you know, if you if you've seen my travel vlogs, you would know, uh, and you you'd see that you know we we have done a lot for our tourism you know our tourism is still is still alive and well uh you know you can come to malaysia and go to gunting or you can come to malaysia and go to langkawi or you can come to malaysia and go to Tioman, or you can come to malaysia and go to pulau um pulau pangkor which is uh pangkor island uh, and that's very beautiful too and uh, you know our tourism is very good and you know we were once known for our palm oil industry you know because of the um, the need to find alternative sources for for oil so we we created palm oil i mean we did kind of borrow it from indonesia but uh, we made it our own and uh, you know we did uh, cross breeding and everything and you know we made it better uh, so that is um, very much an important progress in the point of our history, and you know, even though um, we are, we don't really love the toll systems here in Malaysia. It has helped us to build more roads, to build more highways, to ease our our day to day transportation needs and everything. It's just that. As we as we grow more as a nation, as we grow more as a populace, uh, there is definitely gonna be more and more problems. And one of the biggest problems in Malaysia here right now is the traffic jams. You know, there's too many cars here, and the, and the traffic jams is fucking bad. I, I swear to God, like it's, it's like if there's like rain. You can't go anywhere. Like it's it's just jam, 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 man. Like you you you're just gonna be stuck in a jam. Um, if you if you're you know even like our public transportation systems are are not really 
very well done but there's there is that you know people don't really want to take the public transport here in Malaysia we prefer to drive on our own and that that's something to be said when you know you're you're coming in and saying yeah they, they, you know there's a lot of jams here why don't you guys use the public transport just tra transportation is that that when we use the public transportation it is it is sometimes run down and you know it, it's not well maintained and that's why we don't really use it so yeah um i, I think for me um i'm looking forward to seeing more change but i doubt that will happen anytime soon i I love this country, don't get me wrong, you know, I might say a lot of bad things about the situations here and there, but I think it is with anything, with uh, other people's country as well, you know, the Americans, you know, the British people, uh, Australians, uh, Thai, Thailand, um, South Korea, you know, a lot of people would say, yes, I, I love my country, but at the root of the card, there is problems, and, you know, we are humans, we have flaws, yes, but I think that in the process, uh, I think that our government has forgotten what it means to serve the people, and instead, they serve themselves essentially you know they they fight among themselves they use very very dirty tactics to kind of split the main populace which is uh, the Malays uh, and they are the the majority obviously and the other races which is uh, us the Chinese and the Indians and uh, you know sometimes the uh, the Aborigines as well, which uh, reside in uh, Sabah and Sarawak, and you know, it's not saying anything bad, but the, the only reason why our government kind of just leaves Sabah and Sarawak alone is for resources. Obviously, they are the main hold for our resources, and Sabah and Sarawak is still very beautiful. You know, they are still one of our top tourist lists like you know uh, I talk about the West Peninsula but Sabah and Sarawak is where you can really go and see our wildlife you can see the Rafflesia which is our country's uh, flower uh, you can go and see I think there is a wildlife preserve so you can go and see the tapir which is essentially the um, the white and black like small like small panda it's not really a panda but it's like an ant eater mixed with a panda. It's like two together. It's 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 weird. I'll try to find a uh, uh, a picture to to kind of give you guys. Um, and you know, I I I have said this a lot. It's just that I think for me, progress is all about compromise, and our government doesn't really want to compromise when when the going gets tough they, they they start blaming other sources other places other things that should not pertain to the country's ongoing uh <laughs> i think one of the biggest problems is very much uh, the blaming uh, we, we blame a lot of people uh, we blame uh, you know certain other parties I can't really say much because you know it's it's politics and now uh, we're, we're very much going into communism is it you know that you know how they always say there's stages to a genocide there's also stages to communistic uh, parts of life I mean you know government and you know uh, paths to also anarchism 
and also paths to socialism and also paths to you know capitalism it, it's it's all there uh, but our, our our country is kind of going in that communistic direction you know communism you know can be good but because of you know too much control then that is a problem you know if there's too much control there is not room for growth you know but that's life i guess i don't know um well i think you know this this has been discussed and i think it was a central theme for one of the murdicas uh, but to me, Merdeka means uh, essentially a day where we should reflect on our history and we should look at how we, how long we've gotten and how far we've gotten because we have gotten very, very far and you know, it, it's not to say much but a lot of people don't like him but he did do a good job and that was Dr. Mahathir uh, you know he did you know focus on the right things you know I don't necessarily agree with them but it was the right way because you know he was always like why should we look at westerners when we can look at Japan and look at uh, South Korea which I'm like okay well Japan learned from you know the West but they also did their own thing but I get what you're saying there is also other sources where you know it's it's not as you know it's it's also better achieved and you know it's much better than some sometimes it's much better than the US but you gotta see that uh, you know Japan is kind of a small country as well and you know technically the US is more of a, a continent on its own you know it, it can it can be hard to <laughs> govern 52 states that's why there's a lot of governors senators and all that but you know i'm not here to talk about the u.s uh, i'm just saying that he, he did say that you know we should look to the east instead of the west and i was like okay and he did do something about it I'm just saying that he didn't do something about it but he did do something about it and I think that is so much good when you can say something and do something about what you said you know because he was like I don't want to go to the US or the, the, the English or the Germans for our cars we should learn from the East instead and we did you know we asked japan over and they were very great they were very helpful they were very you know they're very kind they came in they, they, they taught us how to do our own amount of automotive systems properly and that's how we came about to uh, creating proton our nation's car uh, that we created Lotus which is uh, used in a lot of uh, F1 races these days and that's why you see when you watch an F1 race you may always see the Petronas logo and that's why it's, it's so great because Mahathir was the one who created Petronas because he, he recognized that we did have our own oil that was waiting to be tapped into and it was in the sea but it's still able to be tapped into and he was like yes we should make our own oil and that's how it became to be uh, and it's so great and obviously he he introduced some things that were not very popular you know the toll booth and everything and but even then you know it has helped our roads to be created more and you know it's a very stark to see to say that a lot of things are bad but when you come to it you're just kind of like well it might have been bad but i guess you know i can i can use more roads i can use more 
you know more amenities that come with this and you know he he was the one who packed our our ringgit our dollar uh and uh you know he helped our economy grow and uh you know he helped create our multiple uh, our multimedia super corridor and you know he created putrajaya cyberjaya and that was supposed to be our you know uh like our creative areas and uh you know the place where we do our administrative uh side which now putrajaya is our administrative uh state um and you know he he made Kuala Lumpur a a, a wilaya a wilaya meaning a federal state, um, so and it is still our capital, uh, Kuala Lumpur is still our capital, uh, and if you come to to uh, Malaysia, the first thing uh, somebody will tell you is uh, have a look at the Petronas Towers because he created that you know it's a bit slanted off that's why it's some like it's like one taller than the other uh, but it's still very nice to see and you know you can go see the KL Tower and uh, you know you can go uh, uh, see uh, the you know there there was a time I think we wanted to do to do an eye of KL but I don't think we did that we need to be at where we feel that we can come to an agreement and I think that's so important this Merdeka I wanna I wanna give to you guys because it is not only me that feels this love I feel like a lot of people don't want to talk about it a lot of people just prefer to just sit out and say nothing about it and that's not me I really love this country and I really love talking about how we've gotten so far but it's also good that we recognize our own mistakes so that in the future we don't repeat our history no, we don't get invaded by somebody else or we don't get scared when the going gets tough you know when we were being invaded by communists you know um, I guess the message here is to be united and I know it's very cliche it's very corporate but in this America it's, it's, it's even more important for me you know even even with all the bad publicity that has happened to us I think it has given us a chance to be in the spotlight and kind of change like it up and now we are in the spotlight for good is it's more of that like up and down cycle the more I think about it um, but I think if we use our good achievements and make more of it we can become even better and we can become even better a better nation than our neighbors to the south because you know we're always competing to with our you know, neighboring countries and if we are competing we should be wanting that number one spot but that's just my opinion and that's just my message for you guys is Monica. so yeah that's about it guys I hope you guys enjoyed my rambling so <laughs> it's, it's not much of a Merdeka special I guess I just wanted to, to get it off my chest anyway thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video see you then